If the box wasn't the best Wizarding Trunk box without this, it most certainly is the best box now with this. But it was the best box without this. So now this is like the super best box with this. Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we've got a subscription box from The Wizarding Trunk, and this is one of their quarterly special edition boxes. The Wizarding Trunk has two different boxes that you can order and purchase. One is a bi-monthly subscription box, and the other is a special edition quarterly subscription box. So one comes every two months, one comes every three months. And the theme of this box is all about the Headmaster, AKA my favorite Harry Potter book character. If you're new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We are happy to have you here. And if you are a returning Potter Collector community member, welcome back. Let's take a quick look at the box because I'm excited to get into the box. So on the front, it shows a very high security vault or trunk. It says quarterly special edition, fragile magical or fragical delivery. Fragical is a word that I invented here on the Potter Collector channel, actually opening up a wizarding trunk box. If you didn't know that, there's some uh, Potter Collector channel trivia for you. And then on this side, it says Magical Post. And this is indeed Magical Post. All right, one, two, three, Veriverto. I know that's not like the, uh, we should say Aloha Mora, you know, unlock the trunk. But it's fun to say one, two, three, Veriverto. Anyway, so this is what we have on the inside. There's a velvet box here, like what? What is that velvet box? What is this? Look at this, look how gorgeous that is. Look at this box. So it's a velvet box and then on the front there's a really bright gold foil stamped emblem with an M in the center of it. I have a feeling we need to like set this magical gold box aside for just a little bit. So we're just gonna put that there and I'm just gonna stare at it for the rest of the video as I open up all this. All right, so there's some Paper in here, we'll get rid of that. Oh, okay, so we've got another key. Unlocking magic, the Wizarding Trunks key line, their magical key line. Let's open this up first. Love the new packaging, by the way. And, oh, what the heck? Holy moly cannoli. It's so delicate. This is really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so this is the entrance to the headmaster's study or office, and it features a spiral staircase going up the shaft of the key, and at the top is a griffin. This is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. That's a stunning key. Everything from the color, from the design, the size of it, the shape of it, everything is, I would say, perfect. There's literally nothing I would change on this. It's absolutely stunning. Seriously nice, really well done, well designed. All right, let's move right along here. We've got a heavy box. This has got to be like a potion or a potion ingredient. The Wizarding Trunk always has a potion or potion ingredient in their boxes. And it is indeed a potion or potion ingredient. What is this? This is dragon's blood. 100% pure Hungarian dragon's blood. I'm sure that this was sustainably sourced. But if you didn't know, Dumbledore is known for the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood. We learn about that on the back of his chocolate frog card. And this looks like blood. Like it has, it's, it's, it looks thicker. Like a, it just looks like thick liquid in here, like blood. But it also has a metallic look from the mica that was put in here. So it, 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 it appears as though this is magical blood. I mean, dragon's blood would be magical blood. And you definitely get that sense when you see it swirling around in this bottle. Great label as always. I mean, you can't go wrong with a wizarding trunk potion. I mean, they are the top makers of potions in the biz right now. And each one is just stunning, whether it's a simple one, a simple ingredient or like an actual potion, this would be considered a potion ingredient, but whatever it is, they always do 110% to make it look beautiful on your potion shelf. Really like this. All right, what have we here? Something satin-like. All right, so we have a pillowcase here and it has a half moon on it and some symbols in the corner. And I don't know the reference to this. Maybe there'll be more information about this on the cheat sheet. Um, but love this, and I love this for a variety of reasons, because this reminds me of the invisibility cloak pillow cover that came in the second Keep Collecting box, which was a collaboration between myself and the Wizarding Trunk. And the fabric was the same, it was this like satin material, and printed on it was the design of the invisibility cloak. Really, really beautiful, and this is beautiful as well, and would look nice with your invisibility cloak 
pillow cover. Super smooth, satin-like material again. Really nice printed design. This isn't screen printed, like the fabric itself is printed, so there's no raised edges or, you know, ink on here. Really, really nice. And then it has a zipper closure. All right, what have we here? It's a... <laughs> this is cool. This is awesome. It's a pocket watch. Dumbledore has a very special pocket watch and it has multiple hands on it. And there's a description in the, does it open? Oh my gosh, it opens. Is this a real watch? This is a real pocket watch. No way, way. This is a real working metal pocket watch. Oh my gosh. What the heck? This is fantastic. It describes in the book that he has this pocket watch and there are a bunch of hands that like you wouldn't be able to tell the time, but somehow Dumbledore was able to understand it. And we see all those different hands on the face here along with the different planets. And it's a real working watch. Like I'm actually setting it right now. So three, this is really, really beautiful. So it looks almost like a compass and a watch and like a, a dial that you would see in like Indiana Jones that's gonna like tell the alignment of the planets and you have to get there at a certain time to open up the treasure chest or whatever. But really, really, really beautiful design here. And then to open it, you just press the release button and it pops right open. Amazing, like it's a real pocket watch, a real metal pocket watch that you can use. This is absolutely going in my Dumbledore cosplay. I'm very impressed with that. We have, oh, there's another portrait pin. And it's not Dumbledore because they've already done Dumbledore. It was me and my cosplay that came in the first Keep Collecting box. But this also represents Dumbledore. It is a portrait of a young girl. And this young girl can be none other than Ariana Dumbledore. Dumbledore's sister who passed away at a young age. And we learn in the Fantastic Beast films that she was an obscurus. A really nice nod to a headmaster box in here. We have young Ariana inside of a very bright gold metal frame. I'm telling you, these portrait pins, amazing, well done, just perfection. All right, we have a book cover, but also a print. Let's take the print out first and take a look. I see a phoenix. Okay, I'm guessing this is gonna show like the progression of a phoenix. That'd be my guess. It does, oh, it does, wait, it does. Oh, cool. This is really beautiful, really beautiful. So it's the Phoenix life cycle starts adolescence, maturity, burning day, and rebirth. From the ashes of a past life, a new Phoenix is born, arising as a tiny, vibrant creature with renewed life and energy. And into adolescence, as the Phoenix reaches adolescence, it develops the power of flight and hones its control over fire. On to maturity, with fully developed magical powers, the phoenix is a symbol of strength, regeneration, and rebirth. And then to the burning day. When the phoenix reaches the end of its life span, it bursts into flames, being reduced to a pile of ashes. This marks the end of one life and the beginning of another. Beautiful artwork, beautiful use of foiling, and just beautiful overall. Like a really nice parchment. This this feels like a like a ancient scroll that would talk about a phoenix as opposed to something you'd find in like a, a textbook in the Hogwarts library. But this would be in like the archive section of the library where things were written on scrolls and that's how the students learned about things. And when I look at this, I just think about like the Dead Sea Scrolls or something that were discovered, just these ancient scrolls. This feels as though it'd be something that we would find in the magical world. Love the whole feel of this and love the back too. So while you can see the artwork through the back a little bit, the back is actually printed with the mirrored effect of the artwork on the front. So when I cover this, you can't see through past my hand, but you can see the markings on the paper that have the outline of the phoenix and the phoenix wings and just, that's one of the things Wizarding Trunk does in their collaboration with Danny is they have just really beautiful opposite sides of their artwork too. So when you're looking at things like this from the Wizarding Trunk, always take a look at the back because you're missing out if you haven't looked at it. All right, we have a book cover. What is the book cover? For the greater good. Ooh. Interesting. This is really, really clever. So this was done by Danny at Wizardry Workshop and 
he's brilliant when it comes to design like this. So for the greater good, that is something that Gellert Grindelwald said to justify, you know, all of his craziness, you know, in trying to take over the, the muggle world and all that stuff. But okay, so we have on the front cover, let me put this on the book first and then I'll show you guys. So this cover is meant to fit the fifth British edition of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I just pulled this one off my shelves. This is the adult edition, the new adult edition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the spine with the spine of the cover and fold in the end flaps. And bam, you just turned a Harry Potter book into a magical book from the Wizarding World. All right, so let's take a look at this here. So we've got For the Greater Good, and then we have GG. GG stands for Gellert Grindelwald, but also could stand for Greater Good. So GG, Greater Good, or GG, Gellert Grindelwald. There are phoenixes in the corners. We have a wand in the center, an upside down triangle, and a circle. If you turn the book upside down, we see the Deathly Hollow symbol. Really, really cool design here. It's great, it's perfect. It's really, really good. I love the printed texture of the book, that kind of leather look, and the design on the inside flaps is very cool. Just overall, fantastic. All right, we have a big box for Ron. We have a little box. We've got that velvet box, and then we have some prints. Let's go through the prints. Oh, oh, that's not the cheat sheet. Oh, let's not look at the cheat sheet. It's just a, a paper print of Albus Dumbledore in his portrait after he's passed. Just a nice little addition to the box. Nothing spectacular or fancy when it comes to like print quality or paper, but just a fun addition to this Headmaster box. All right, we have a print of the Headmaster's study. Oh, fun! Okay, this is, I always love when the Wizarding Trunk does this. They have items that you found in your box on the print itself. So on Dumbledore's desk, we have the book cover for the greater good by Gellert, or not by Gellert Grindelwald, but about Gellert Grindelwald. We have his pocket watch. I see the key, the Phoenix Burning Day print, Sherbert lemons, I wonder if we're gonna get some Sherbert lemons. It's kind of like a Where's Waldo situation or like find these particular items in the artwork sort of a thing. Really cool artwork, probably done by J.P. Mistlecrow. This is definitely her style. We have two more pages from the Magical Creatures A to Z textbook. So we have V and Q, Vampire and Vila, and Quinator and Chillin'. So I will put these pages on the screen. You can pause and read them if you'd like to. These always have fun write-ups and artwork to take a look at. And there is a recipe. Okay, here is our Sherbert Lemon Candies recipe. Very fun, from the kitchen of Albus Dumbledore. Serves 25, five minutes to prep, and 30 minutes of cook time. And this is like a real recipe that you can use to make Sherbert Lemon Candies. So I will also put this front and back on the screen so you can pause and read and make if you would like to. All right, let's open this little box, little-ish box. It's a pretty big box. Oh, I should have known. I should have known that you would be here, memory vial. Okay, orphanage. So this is the memory of Dumbledore going to visit Tom Riddle in the orphanage. And the Wizarding Trunk has perfected. They perfected their potions, they perfected their keys, they have perfected their collection of memory vials. I don't know how they do this, but it looks like a memory is swirling on the inside. The mica powder they use doesn't quite mix in. It's just they use the perfect amount so that it has the perfect swirl to look like the memories that we see in the films. No one has ever created a memory vial as good as this. Amazing. Like, they're all amazing and I'm excited to put another one up on my shelves. Wizarding Trunk, please keep coming out with these because they're spectacular. All right, big box for Ron or Velvet Box. I think I'm gonna open up the Velvet Box first. It's been waiting. The Velvet Box has been waiting this entire video. All right, so we've got a Velvet Box with that gold in the center. Don't know what that M stands for. M. Oh, cool! This stands for, I think, Merlin. I don't think this stands for ministry, but I think Merlin. Inside is Dumbledore's first class Order of Merlin award for his defeat of Grindelwald in 1945. It's a metal, metal Order of Merlin. That is awesome. 
and would display so beautifully on your shelf. Like, propped up like this, your Order of Merlin, first class, not third class like Gilderoy Lockhart, first class. Wow, wow. So, like, you can actually wear it, too. Look at that green ribbon. Really nice, thick green ribbon. This isn't something that's just gonna fray. And then a solid metal medal, or Order of Merlin. Acts of courage or great magical achievement. That is cool. That is really, really cool. What a great piece. What a great box, too. I mean, this is probably my favorite box from the Wizarding Trunk. Not just because Dumbledore is my favorite character, but because, like, the items in here are incredible and perfectly done. One more item, let's see if it can knock off my socks that Dumbledore wishes he would receive instead of books on Christmas morning. Because one can never have enough socks. Dun -dun -dun. Hmm? Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just take this in. Holy moly cannoli times 10. If the box wasn't the best Wizarding Trunk box yet, without this, it most certainly is the best box now with this. But it was the best box without this. So now this is like the super best box with this. It's Dumbledore's pensive. This is incredible. An absolutely incredible statue. I know, I haven't shown you, but you ready to see this? What? This thing's heavy too. Like, this is solid resin that is like stone. The basin itself is filled with blue liquid. I mean, not real liquid, but it looks like liquid. There's like glitter in there to give it like a sparkle look. And then we've got the back, which shows those aged mirrors that are reflective, that make it look like mirrors. This thing is perfection. It's absolutely perfection. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Top shelf material item right here. Like this goes on the top shelf. You guys did my favorite character justice, beyond justice, and just overall as a curated box, destroyed it. Amazing box. Best box hands down ever released by the Wizarding Trunk. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet here. Wizard Weekly, the headmaster. Number one, the basin. If used correctly, this basin can see into the past, present, and even give a glimpse into the future. The Greater Good book cover. This book outlines the art of war and responsibility that comes to those who rule. It fits the fifth UK edition book, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Writing desk pillow cover. The pillow cover will look great next to your writing desk, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Vial of the Past. This vial gives you a look into an orphanage, label designed for us by Here Be Monsters. The Pocket Watch. A peculiar pocket watch adorned with no numbers and a few too many hands. Watch face designed by Wizardry Workshop. Phoenix Life Cycle Print. This print shows the life cycle of the phoenix, all the way up until their burning day, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Dragon's Blood. There are so many magical uses for dragon's blood. Twelve to be exact. Can you name a few? Bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary, label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Portrait Pin. This portrait pin is the next in your collection. There were a lot of items in this box. Office Door Key. Have you used all the magical sweet names you can think of? Use this key to unlock the office instead. Designed by J.P. Mistlecrow. Absolute perfection with that key design. The office. How many items in this box can you spot in the office? Designed by J.P. Mistlecrow. Creature page. This creature page gives you all the information you may need about the chillin'. Written by the Wizarding Trunk, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number 12, Sherbert Lemon Recipe Card. Number 12 should have been the Dragon's Blood, because, you know, the 12 uses of Dragon's Blood. Looking to visit the Headmaster? Be sure to make a special batch of homemade Sherbert Lemons. Written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Order of Merlin First Class. Given to only the most elite witches and wizards. We present you with the Order of Merlin First Class. Designed for us by Here Be Monsters 28. Sleeping Portrait. This portrait hangs on the wall with the others who served before. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. 
And then there are some fun advertisements on here. And the editor's choice for this box is none other than Kaylee Christensen. And you can check out Kaylee's unboxing videos here on YouTube as well as her Instagram, Kaylee underscore Christensen. The next bi-monthly theme is going to be Magical Artifacts. And if you would like a chance to be featured in the Wizarding Trunks Editor's Choice section, make sure that you use hashtag TWT Editor's Choice in your posts or unboxings. Um, okay, so, like, I don't think there's one item that I didn't like. There are no least favorite items. I think that's maybe only happened once. It, like, if I had to choose one item. I guess a, a print, maybe? This would probably be my least favorite item, just because it's, like... A, a piece of paper like it was printed quickly but that said it's like this is almost it was on the bottom of the box so it's kind of like a you know the end of the unboxing of the box Dumbledore's death um so like I, I, I don't know if I would like include this as an item even though it is included as an item on the cheat sheet I would have loved it if they just had this on the bottom of the box and it's like okay the box is over Dumbledore's life's over. I don't know, it's just there's some poeticness to, to something like that. But because it was included technically as an item on the cheat sheet, I guess this would be my least favorite just because of how it was created, if that makes sense. But I mean, no least favorite items. Like, that's crazy. So favorites, this is absolutely a favorite. So cool, beautifully done. Um, the key is a favorite. The pocket watch is a favorite. The pensive is a favorite. Um, the dragon's blood is a favorite. The the it's it's all favorite. It's like like I the, the, I guess the only thing that isn't like a big favorite would be the the pillowcase or some of the other prints. But like everything's a favorite. This is nuts. This is crazy. Everything is a favorite. Amazing, amazing box. Like I, amazing box. Best box Wizarding Trunk has ever put out. And probably one of the best subscription boxes I have ever opened. Sometimes the Wizarding Trunk has a few leftover boxes. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Definitely reach out to them or check on their website to see if you can purchase this box. This is one that you don't want to miss. If you are a collector and want some really cool artifacts to add to your collection or to put on your shelves, this is the box to get. Check the description down below for a link to the Wizarding Trunks website as well as a coupon code to save you some money off. I don't make anything from that coupon code. It's just a way for myself and the Wizarding Trunk to give you guys a little extra money off by purchasing one of their boxes. And this is a perfect box to apply that coupon code to. You have heard me mention the Keep Collecting box a few times. The Keep Collecting box too, there are a few left in the Wizarding Trunks stock. So if you would like to purchase one of those, also check the description down below for a link to that. And while I'm on the subject of the Keep Collecting box, I mean, I might as well just say a little something about the potential possible next box that might be coming out, you know, in the next few months or might be coming out in the next few months or it could even be coming out in the next few months. So um, just keep an eye out and an ear out for a future announcement of some kind in the coming weeks. But don't ask questions. Don't ask any more questions because it's top secret that is. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector, on Twitter at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is open and you will find a link in the description down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?